In this video, we'll discuss about the difference between bytecode and machine code and why Java is platform independent. Let's start. So let me start with high level language. So what is high level language? I'm talking in English. So English is a high level language. English, Bengali, Hindi. So these are the high level language or human readable language. And what is machine code? That what machine understands. So machine doesn't understand that what is Hindi, what is Bengali, what is English. Machine just understand in binary. It will be 001, 110, like something like that. So you won't understand that what I am saying. So if I tell you something in English, you will understand that what I am saying. So there is a difference between high level language and machine code. So whenever you write any code in C, then what happen? Your code will directly interact with your machine code. So there is a middle layer. You are writing the code in English. You are saving the file as .c. Then it will directly interact with your machine code. But in Java, we have a middle layer that is called bytecode. At first, whenever you are writing any code in Java, it doesn't depend on that whatever platform you are using. You will just write that code in .java file. So bytecode is the middle layer between your Java and your machine. So whenever you write any Java file, at first you have to convert your Java file into .class file. Then your .class file will interact with your machine. So you're gonna directly communicate with your machine code. At first you have to convert your .java file into .class file into bytecode. Then your bytecode will be converted into machine code. So it also provides us a data security. Now let's say that why Java is platform independent. So if you write any code in C in Windows, you cannot run directly into Linux. You will get some segmentation for or anything. But you write a code in Java in Windows, you can run that in anywhere. You can run that in Unix, in Linux, in Mac, in Sun. You can run that in everywhere. But in C, you cannot do that. So that is why Java is platform independent. For the bytecode, Java is platform independent. Whenever you are compiling that code into dot class file, you just take that dot class file into any of the operating system. It can be Linux, it can be Unix, it can be anything. It will run. But the last thing is your Java is platform independent, but your JDK is not. We have the different version of JDK for Windows, for Linux, for Mac, we have the separate version. Whatever we are writing in Windows, it will run in Linux, it will run in Mac, it will run like whatever operating system that is. So these are the difference between bytecode and machine code. In this video, we have discussed about what are the difference between bytecode and machine code and why Java is platform independent. See you in the next video.